everybody, welcome back to the Rusty Maths channel and welcome back to my year nine series on algebra. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got some good stuff for you today. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you do not miss any uploads. Did you know, by the way, that the Rusty Max channel is growing and we have now got some socials that you can find us at? It's right on the ribbon just down here. Okay, now let's go back to this then. So these are all the topics we have done before. So if you want to catch up on everything, I've put a pop-out banner up here with the playlist where you can find these topics in order. Really important that you do it in the order that I have done it here, mainly because one topic flows into the other one. So like, for example, when we go into simultaneous equations today, um, you need to know how to solve equations. If you can't do that, you're going to really struggle to understand this topic. Okay. All right. That's it for now. Let's jump straight into simultaneous equations. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will know as soon as a new video has landed. All right, so I will apologize right now because this topic is gonna to be a long one. It's gonna be a long video, this one, but I'll try and chop things out where necessary to keep it as short as possible. One of the first things I've done is put the rules down and that's what makes this video long because we've got a few steps we need to go through in order to be able to solve it. But let's go through the language first. Simultaneous. Simultaneous or simultaneously means that you are trying to do more than one thing at the same time. So this is called simultaneous equations because we've got two equations there that we're solving at the same time. They've got two variables, x and y, so we need to find out the value of those variables. Okay, so let's go through the steps and let's jump into it. So choose a variable you want to eliminate. I will choose the variable y that I want to eliminate. Why am I going to choose that one? Well, ensure it has the same coefficient. And the coefficient of y is 1. So I can see that there is definitely a 1 in front of this y and a 1 in front of that y. So they've got the same number or the same coefficient. So really important. So I've chosen my variable I want to eliminate. And by the way, I forgot to mention the method I'm using is the elimination method, which means I need to eliminate or get rid of or cancel out one of those variables first. So anyway, ensure it has the same coefficient. It does. Now I need to check the coefficient. If the signs are different, I should add the equations. If the signs are the same, I should subtract the equations. Well, let's have a look. Well, the signs are different because I want to eliminate y and this one is negative and that one's positive. So the signs are definitely different. So I should add the equations. Let's go and add the, equation, the equations and see what happens. So I'm going to add them to and I'm going to add my x's with my x's, 2x and 4x. That gives me, let's put a line under there, that gives me 6x. And then negative y, add y, or y take away y, that becomes zero. That's been eliminated. That was my point. I needed to do that. So I need to eliminate it. And now I'm going to add the 7 and the 23 to give me 30. Now let's just take a pause for the cause here. Notice that when I added or subtracted in some cases when you're going to see that, notice that I only added x's with x's and y's with y's. Why is that? Check out my previous video on collecting like terms. You can only merge terms that are the same, okay? And that word term means that um, I've got two or three, well, two terms in this equation here, and then it's equal to seven over there. It's really important we check that. Okay, good. Let's carry on. So now I've got 6x equals to 30, and I need to find that whatever x is. Now I'm going to use my inverse operation to find what the x is. I need to get rid of this 6, so I am going to divide by 6 because right now the 6 is multiplying by x. The inverse or the opposite of multiply is divide. So I'm going to divide by 6, thereby cancelling out these two 6s here. x is equal to 5. So let's see what we've done so far. Let's go back through our rules. 
choose the variable, we chose y, ensure it has the same coefficient, it did. We add it because the signs are different. Now we solve for that variable. So we've solved for that variable. So now I know that the value of x is 5. The last thing, substitute in any equation to find the other variable. So you remember that y that we eliminated? We need it now, so we need to go find it. So to do that, I am going to substitute x equals 5 in the equation 4x add y equal 23. You can choose any of the two equations. It doesn't matter which one, you'll get the same answer, okay? So I've chosen the bottom one. Now, substitute. Can you substitute? If the answer to that is no, click on the pop up banner up here and go and watch my video on substitution. Vitally important because that's what we're about to do now. Okay, good. Let's jump into it then. So now that I know x is 5, I can replace this x here for the number 5. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's jump into it. So we're going to have 4 times 5 add y equals 23. 4 times 5, that's 20. Add y equals 23. Oopsie, yeah, I put 32. <laughs> um, where is it now? 23. And then I will do my inverse operation. I will subtract 20 from both sides, thereby telling me that y is equal to 3. So this is finished now. x is 5 when y is 3. This question is finished. Now, how do I know that that answer is right? Do I know it's right? Do you know if it's right? How do we know it's right? Well, we can check it. We can put it back into one of those equations and see if it's right. Should we do it? Let's go. So I'm going to take this top equation here and I know x is 5, so I'm going to change that to 5. So let's use a different color so we don't get mixed up. We'll go for hot pink. So 2 times 5 take away. We know that the y value is 3, so I'm going to replace this y with 3. And I want to check, see if I will get 7. So 2 times 5, that gives me 10, take away 3, and that is 7. I know for sure my two answers are right now, okay? And that's fantastic. Okay, good. So that one is done. Let's do one more question um, on this one for the elimination method. Um, I'm tempted to do two more, but let's just do one more and see, because I, I, I do appreciate this video is going to be quite long. It's probably too long already. Anyway, let's go. So on this one, let's go through the rules again. Choose the variable you want to eliminate. Again, but well, this time I'm not going to choose Y because I don't want you to get too used to Y being the one. I'm going to choose X. I want to eliminate X. Next thing, ensure it has the same coefficient. Well, it doesn't because this one has a 2 and this one has a 1. And if it doesn't, I need to make it have the same coefficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the top one. So I'm going to keep the 2x add 3y equals 10. But in order to make this a 2x, I need to multiply this whole one by 2. So I need to multiply this by 2, that by 2, and that by 2 to get an equivalent equation. Okay. All right, let's go. So let's do it. So 2 times x, that's 2x. That's 2 times x here. 2 times y, that's 2y equals, and then 2 times 5, that gives me 10. All right, that's fantastic. That's looking pretty good. So now I have got the same 2 and 2 there. So now it's got the same. The signs are the same, and if it's the same, I should take away the equations. I should subtract. So let's go and do that. Subtract them. 2x take away 2x, goodbye, that's what I wanted, I wanted to eliminate it. And then 3y take away 2y becomes 5y. Why did you say? Well, let's write it on the side here. It's 3y take away a negative 2y. And these two together would become positive. So 3y add 2y, and that's why that is 5y. If that caught you off guard, click on the pop-up banner, go have a look at my video and adding and subtracting negative numbers. Anyway, let's carry on. So 10, take away 10, that's going to be 0. 
So it means that y is equal to zero. Now that I've got y is equal to zero, well, it's pretty straightforward now. You know what x is going to be, don't you? So let's go for it then. So we substitute y equals zero in x minus y equals five. Now I've got loads of equations I can choose. I can choose this one, this one, or I can choose this new one that I made. It doesn't matter. I have chosen this one because it looks a bit simpler. Okay, so wherever there is y, I'm going to replace that y for zero because y is equal to zero. So now I'm going to have x take away nothing is equal to five, so x is equal to five. This is now finished at x equals five when y is equal to zero. Okay, this is now done. Okay. If you think you've had enough and you're ready to go and do some extra exercise, some extra work somewhere um, on this sort of topic, please feel free to jump out of the video now. But if you want to see one more question where it's just that bit harder, stick around. I'm going into that right now. OK, so if you are looking at me now, well done for sticking around. That's very, very big of you. Anyway, let's go on. Here is a pair of simultaneous equations where, well, yeah, let's see what problems this bring. So choose a variable you want to eliminate. Well, me and my pearls of wisdom, I will decide to choose y. So I will eliminate y. Ensure that it has the same coefficient. Well, it doesn't because <laughs> one's a seven and the other one's a two. So I need them both to be the same. Now, the, high, the lowest common multiple between 7 and 2, I happen to know, is 14. So if I can get them both to be 14, I'm living my best life. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply this one by 2 in order to make this 7 into 14. And then I'm going to multiply this one by 7 in order to make this 2 into 14. Let's see what my two new equations will be. So now I'm going to have at the top 8x add 14y equals 30. That's because 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 7 is 14, and 2 times 15 is 30. Now we're going to do this second one down here. 7 times 5, that's 35x take away. 7 times 2, that's going to be 14 again. Y equals 7 times 8, that's going to be 56. All right, now we've got that. Um, ensure that they have the same stuff. So chosen Y, it's now got the same coefficient. The signs are different because one of them is a plus and one is a minus, so they're different. So I should add in order to eliminate that y. So let's jump into adding then. So we're going to add those two. And then we're going to have 35. Add 8 is going to be 43x. Then we're going to have 14y. Take away 14y. See you later. That's what I wanted. And then we're going to have 30. Add 56 is going to be... 86. And now we've got what we want. We're going to solve for that variable. And to solve for that variable, I'm going to divide by 43 in both instances there. That will cancel out. So then x will be equal to 2. And once I've got x is equal to 2, I'm just down here now where I need to substitute to find y. I've got loads to choose from. I will choose equation one, the very top one. So I'm going to substitute x equals two in four x plus seven y equals to 15. Let's see what that gives me. So long story short, I'm gonna replace this x here with the number two. So let's see what we're gonna have. So what we're gonna have is four times two plus seven y equals 15 there. 4 times 2 gives me 8, plus 7y equals 15. Now I'm going to use my inverse operation, take away 8 from both sides. That cancels out, becomes 0. 7y is going to be 7. 
because 15 take away 8 is going to give me 7. I now divide both sides by 7, so y is equal to 1. Okay, and this is finished. So now x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Did you get that? Was that okay? If it was, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Comments are always welcome and I will do a problem solving short on one of these coming up real soon. But for now, until I see you on the next one, peace.